The 4th of July holiday is coming up next week. Can you believe it? And that means a whole lot of outdoor grilling will be happening. And what food do we always think of as the quintessential grilling food? Burgers. Burgers. <laughs> Megan yes. is here with us to talk about, well, we're going we're gonna to talk about bean burgers. Yes, which kind of gets a negative rap from people. Um, I think that oftentimes when people think of burgers, of course, you think of a beef burger, and those are delicious. And sometimes we think of the bean burger as like the less desirable option. But I think that we need to rethink a bean burger. Um, Lisa and I were talking about this in terms of don't associate it with supposed to taste like a hamburger. It is its own unique thing. It's got great ingredients. It's super delicious. And we're going to make an awesome version today, a spicy black bean burger. I love it. They look beautiful. These are Instagram-worthy burgers yeah, right are. here. Thank you. That is always my goal with this show, is to get something <laughs> Instagram-worthy and thrifty. Okay, so... I love this idea because I'm a little more open-minded and I said, I see these on the menu more often. So. Yeah, yeah, they're growing in popularity. You know, people are looking to have more plant-based options, looking for more fiber. Um, so in addition to having something that tastes really good and, and is a fun food to eat, it also is really nutritious too. Okay, how are we going to start here? So we're starting over here. We have two cans of black beans that have been drained and rinsed. Um, of course, when we drain the black beans, that reduces 40% of the sodium, so that's great. And I just have these mashed up right now. And to this, we are going to add two eggs. We are adding one cup of breadcrumbs. Those mm. are unseasoned breadcrumbs. Um, if you do the seasonings, you can down the um, other seasonings a little bit. This is a half cup of grated onions. There you have a teaspoon of garlic powder, uh, two teaspoons of cumin. Wow. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and then a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then we've got some salt in there as well and some black pepper. So this is our ingredient mix. And just right off the start, this is not a burger, right? right. Like, this is not hamburger. <laughs> this is something entirely different. You're not trying to trick us. We nope. know it's a bean burger. And while I'm getting this mixed up, I'm going to get this pan going with some canola oil because we are going to cook these on the stove. Unfortunately, bean burgers don't do really well on the grill. Okay. Um, they kind of break apart and they don't um, don't stay together. So I would recommend indoor cooking for these burger options. That's good to know. And as we were talking about with the 4th of July holiday coming up, even though these are not a hamburger, they still have that same kind of visual and appeal like that. And if you have any guests who are coming that might be non-meat eaters, this is a really nice option yeah. to provide those folks. So I'm going to get in here with my hands now because that's really the only way to get this all mixed up. And we're just gonna get all of our ingredients incorporated. Um, each one of these burgers provides 20 grams of fiber. So over wow. half of your daily needs. And a lot of folks are looking to get more fiber in their diets because it is good for so many things. So I'm just gonna make this into our a little patty right now. And I'm just gonna use my hand to divide this into fours so that we get even generally even amounts. I'm a pretty um, relaxed cook in a lot of ways. <laughs> and so the oil is heated on our skillet. So as I'm making these up, I'm just going to drop these into our pan. You hear the sizzle mm -hmm. right away. Really important that you have your pan heated properly from the start. If you put these into a cold pan, it's going to start to absorb that oil versus kind of crisping and frying it. So it doesn't really provide the effect that you're looking for. <clears throat> so we're going to get these going. About how long do you have to cook them? Four minutes on each side. Okay. So pretty simple. So we're just going to get these in here. Are you They're guys both burger too. fans? I am. Are yeah. bean burger fans or burger fans? <laughs> <laughs> I'm both. I like both. Right, right. Chris, you as well? Yeah. I've never, I don't know if I've ever had a bean burger. So really? Like, what's kind of the taste, texture of it? It's completely different than a hamburger. So it's a little bit more of like a, how, how would I describe it? Jeez, I don't even know. Like, yeah. maybe a little more cakey. Um, that's not really a great, like, attractive word for it. But I get it. I mean... They're going to have a crisp outer, a crisp outside, and then kind of a soft, chewy inside that just is a little bit maybe more dense and less meat-like texture. 
It you definitely know, has the bean factor. I was going to say, the fact that you can <clears throat> have all of this in your cupboard, too, is great. Because even though it's, you know, with hamburger, sometimes you don't have hamburger or you don't have exactly. it thought out. Exactly. And you can't, you know, put it any, make a burger without. And this could be, like, I'm talking about it for the 4th of July, but this could be an evening meal. Yeah, that's Super awesome. simple. Too. You can make these up and have them in patty form. Wrap them in saran wrap, keep them in your freezer, and then pull them out. And then all you have to do is fry nice. them up at night, too. Well, that's great. So in order to make this burger taste really good, condiments really add a lot. So um, because we have some spicy seasonings in there, we're going to add a little bit of a spicy chipotle mayo to this. So I just have mayonnaise here and to this we're going to add sriracha. And do you see aioli on the menu quite a oh, bit? Yeah. Yep. Spicy mayonnaise. All it is is just mixing up mayo with um, hot sauce. <laughs> Super simple. And it's something that adds a really nice kind of gourmet like flavor to it. So we've got to wrap up, but how long do you cook these for? Just Four minutes on each side. On each side. Yeah. And how much does $1. each? $1.25 a piece. $1.25. <laughs> that's my favorite part. And that's part. everything. That's tomato, lettuce, the whole shebang. That is a thrifty Thursday <laughs> thrifty recipe. Thrifty Thursday. All right. We'll post the uh, ingredient list and all of the uh, directions online a little later today. Megan, awesome. thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Stay with us. Coming up next, we're talking to a local author about his book, Cultivate Courage.